Okay, now I know you guys are in kind of an awkward position right now, but this is like the only way I can get this whole thing in the frame up here. So, ignore the mess, please. Let's just take a look at this Peter McKinnon backpack. Look at that. The quality on this thing. It's nice. I did enough research on this backpack to know that it's the one I wanted, but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna fit all the gear in here. So, let's just open it up and give my first impressions and see what I can fit in here. That's what I think I'm gonna do. But I do wanna note that this is a very weather resistant material. You can tell just by touching it. But other than that, let's go ahead and test out these zippers and open this thing up. Look at that. Man, I love the color choice that Peter decided to go with on this. Got a nice big open area here for really anything. Um, you can put your drone there or like a big lens or something here. Extra tools and kit. You can put a lot of stuff up here. It's an interesting uh, zipper style. Let me zoom in so you can see this maybe. See how it's, it's actually sideways rather than, I feel like usually they're flipped kind of 90 degrees to that. And it glides real nice. And then of course, so there we go, we got some, uh, we got the shelf, which opens up kind of like that. And I actually didn't get any dividers with this, and I might later, but for now, I kind of just figured, I have enough like bigger, bulkier stuff that I can just throw it in here and see how it fits, and I'll probably get dividers later on, but I don't know, I was too cheap. <laughs> and then here is the backside of the top compartment, which is really cool that you have all this all these different access points and that's just held in by magnets and then a couple of mesh thingamabobs for uh you know really whatever you want tools nd filters stuff like that pretty dang cool and then in here you know your stereotypical uh laptop pouch right here his logo for these his backpack and everything dude so sick so i don't know nice and simple and then you kind of got flaps where you can put tripod or uh, water bottle or whatever held in by magnets. Uh, super easy to use, simple system there. So uh, yeah, I kind of just want to load this thing up a little bit and see what I can fit in here. And then uh, sort of show you guys along the way just what it's like to maybe load this thing up and use it. So I'll be right back. Let me, let me go get the stuff I'm gonna put in it. You guys are going last, but I just want to make sure that this is all recorded first. So I have a lot of little things that I want to put in here. Um, and by little, I mean actually pretty big. So let's start with this chonker. This is all my GoPro action camera gear, 360 camera. It all fits in this one thing here. So I'm thinking this can take up a good portion of the bottom section. And now here's where I was kind of like, I don't know if I really need the dividers because what I can do is this fits almost perfectly in there as is. And then I'll have all this extra room to put in the top pouch. And in the top pouch, um, I can probably just put like my camera, my lenses, and uh, basically all the stuff that I'll need right away when I'm when I'm shooting. So I don't know. Let's try this iteration and see what it, see what it fits like. So doing it this way turns it into more of a top load. You see, it's a lot deeper now. And um, you know, depending on what you're trying to do with it, that may or may not be desirable. So, yeah, also it looks like there's a couple little like mesh pockets here and here, which you can put really anything you want, I suppose. So for me, I think it's just gonna depend on like what kind of day it is, how I wanna set this up, but I can literally fit just like my whole drone bag right on the top here, <laughs> which is nice and simple. And then I can easily fit a lens right on the top. And this is where maybe having a divider of some kind would be nice, but for a top load, it doesn't even really matter because that's just kind of how it fits, right? So at this point, I probably put the camera like right here and uh, close this part up. And like I said, I don't know if this is the way I'm gonna keep it. There's also different uh, like container bins that they sell that I'll probably end up getting. I just kind of wanted to wait until I had it and uh, played with it a little bit before I spent some money on those because they aren't exactly cheap by the way this handle is like the nicest backpack handle i've ever felt it seems like these are pretty stiff and and like sturdy but also like they got a lot of padding so i'll be curious to uh get some time under under this backpack and and try it out also some nice back padding it seems like again i haven't tried it out yet but 
I'll give it a good test soon. So I actually have several um, like GoPro chest mounts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see what I can fit into there. So I have this uh, like shoulder strap, chest mount, duh, 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 whatever you wanna call it for this camera. I don't really have a neat way of folding it up. So I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and do one of these guys and stick it in here just so I have it somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing for my GoPro one. So once again, I don't really have a good way of doing this, but anyway, here's a chest mount for my GoPro. And let's see if it fits in here. Although I know this guy is a little bit bulky. Uh, I don't really expect it to fit. Yeah, that's a little bit too big. So that's not gonna fit. It looks like if I stuff it in a little sideways, I know this is gonna look kind of messy, but if it works for me, it works. So I was able to just kind of stick it in here on the side next to my GoPro case, and that's good enough for me. And then I have a couple other small attachments. This goes to the bottom of the camera for using this strap. So let's put it in the same pocket so I don't lose it. Fantastic. And here's a GoPro uh, mouth mount because why not? This I can easily fit into here, no problem. Let's go ahead and zip that up. Uh, you know, realistically, I would probably also carry some extra cables or whatever with me, but you know, that's pretty easy to find a pocket for, so I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, I mean, that button's up nice and easy, so it's really all I need from this thing. And the best part is that this material is so resistant to weather, um, you don't have to worry about get, getting all your gear wet. So other than fitting the camera in there, this is pretty much how it goes, right? So, so let's just get a last uh, closing shot of me wearing this thing. All right, so I got the backpack on, as you can see, a little uh, chest strap here. And I was able to tighten up using these two uh, straps. I was able to tighten up my shoulder straps. And so far, this thing is very light and very comfortable. Obviously, I've worn it for maybe like two minutes now, but still. For, for what it is, like how high quality the materials feel to me, really I'm surprised that it's this light because I feel like high quality materials are typically a lot heavier. Not always the case, but um, but yeah, in general this thing, it feels pretty sweet. It fits everything I need. And um, I probably should have bought some dividers for it, but I'll, I'll, I'll look at getting those now. And uh, I'll probably end up switching around my arrangement a little bit because I need to get you guys in there, this camera and the microphone and probably this tripod or another tripod, but anyway. So far, so good. I like this thing and I wish I had it today because you guys will see in the next video me walking around Milwaukee and uh, I didn't have this yet. So <laughs> next time I go walking around, I'll bring this and I'll comment on how it fits, how it feels, how nice it is and uh, you guys can get the full experience of what it's like to have a backpack and go shoot photography. So hopefully this video is at least useful, if not entertaining, and I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.